Now I'm going to go over prompt 2B. 2B says describe or outline steps to use in the incremental and iterative development process to create your program. This is on the 19 scoring guide. And so it says don't award the point if you only describe the development at two specific points. You need more than two points that you're talking about. Um, and it says don't give the point if refinement and revision are not connected to feedback, testing, or reflection. So you need to think about that. And these are things I all did, dur I did during the video of the coding, so I would have the stuff to talk about now. Um, and then down here it says specifically identifies at least two difficulties or opportunities. So I, in mine, I did two opportunities, um, but I'm sure you're going to have tons of difficulties and things you overcome as you're developing a project. It's weird that it only it says you can't have just two here, and then it asks for two. For me, that's like I don't understand why it's like that, but that, that's the way it is. So you have to highlight two and talk about more than two. Um, and then, so the 17 guide just says it has to be 200 words max. And that you have to indicate whether development described was collaborative or independent. So it didn't say that in the other one, but you need to talk about that on 17. So I just added it. So looking at the prompts. Um, so I was 192 words, so I'm within the limit. And then I said flushstats.py was developed entirely by myself. Uh, it, the development was incremental. I made an outline of the major components, procedures. As components were completed, I integrated them into the main project. So that's my incremental process. Development was iterative. I created test batteries for each function, four total, more than two. Each function was developed independently and cycled with their test. Changes were made based on results and testing continued until the functions operated correctly. Once a function's operation was verified, it integrated it into the main program. The same process was completed on the assembled program. So there I did at least five to six, seven sequences there. Um, and then these are my two opportunities. After developing Create Hand, I realized it didn't represent reality. I saw this as an opportunity to create a better simulation. Originally, it produced a random hand by selecting five random cards from the deck. I realized this doesn't model actual behavior, so I went back and modified it to select every third, fourth, fifth card to simulate deal with, four, with three to five players. I could actually reduce some of that because it's kind of redundant. Uh, and then my next one, I originally had the main function hard-coded to run 1,000 trials. I realized this was a good opportunity to add user interaction. I added the ability for the user to choose the amount of deals they would like to simulate. So in my opinion, that covers all the bases. It has the two opportunities and how I integrated them. Um, I could probably elaborate a little more, but at 200 words, it's pretty hard. Um, and then uh, up here, I talked about the incremental and the iterative process, and I'm pretty sure I covered at least two, uh, more than two times. So that should be good for that part.